Hey friends, Salaam Alaikum and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all very, very well. It's been a while since I've last posted a video. This one is a very quick and easy and finger licking delicious recipe. You will need approximately 500 grams of mutton, preferably boneless. That's potatoes peeled and sliced. Once the meat is washed and drained, add some salt according to taste. That's two tablespoons of mixed curry powder. You can use any brand of your choice. I'm also going to be using one teaspoon of Kashmiri chilli powder, which is optional. Mix well, making sure all the pieces of meat are evenly coated. Add salt accordingly to the pieces of potato and some turmeric haldi powder, roughly one and a half teaspoon. I've also added some Kashmiri chilli powder. You can use a normal chilli powder if you like, approximately one teaspoon. Then give it a good mix. cooking oil to two separate fry pan we are going to shallow fry so I've used approximately six to seven tablespoons of sunflower oil you can use less or more this recipe is what we call a jot pot recipe in Bengali it's quick and easy and a great comfort food especially for the colder seasons like autumn and winter Cook on medium flame, approximately two to three minutes on each side or until it's golden. Try not to burn or make it too crispy. Once the oil is hot, it's time to add in the mutton pieces. Cook on medium flame. You will need to stir occasionally, making sure it's cooked through and try not to burn, otherwise you will end up with a bitter taste. Here I've roughly chopped up a couple of onions, one large tomato, some coriander leaves and some green chilies, uh, which I'm going to saute with a bit of salt and then mix in with the meat. If 
squeeze some lemon juice on top of the onions as you saute for that added flavour and taste. Sprinkle a little salt. Remember, there's already salt in the mutton. This is Mr. Nugget Pickle, which is a total game changer when it comes to adding to fries, especially mutton and chicken. You can also add to curries. Either add a teaspoon of this pickle to the mutton or serve like a dip. Remember, it's extremely hot, so be careful how much you consume. I'm going to be serving it with some white basmati rice, which is the traditional way. However, you can serve with pita bread, naan bread, or even chapatis. If you have enjoyed watching my video then please don't forget to give it a like, comment below and share with family and friends. It would also mean a lot to me if you would consider subscribing. Those of you already part of this growing little family, thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart. Till next time folks, stay safe, see you all soon with a new video. Take care.